Hello everyone and welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be talking about Nightfall and, well, Nightfall. <clears throat> See, uh, the original uh, short story of Nightfall was written in, uh, I think, in 1940, it was uh, 1941. It released it as a short story and, uh, it, fairly enough, it became a huge hit and uh, it was made into like a couple of radio dramas, if I recall. And um, even two movies, one in 1988 and one in 2000. And the whole premise is, <clears throat> oh right, and this adaptation from short story to full story in 1990. Or 1991. It says 1991, so yeah, I'm gonna go with 1991, about 50 years after. And um, <clears throat> the whole premise is the, well, how would a, uh, humanity react if, they're, if they lived in a civilization where they only saw a night about every one or two thousand years or so. I think in the short story it's one thousand, but... And here in the full-on novel adaptation it's about two thousand, specifically I think two thousand forty years to be precise. <clears throat> and um, you know, and, the, and of course what happens is, of course, just pure chaos. In the original short story, the it basically uh, comes to a close with everyone just sort of going crazy and starting fires so they wouldn't have to, so they would have like light so they could see it, whatever, because the darkness is just so crazy. In the night, in the 2000 uh, movie, which I saw, I didn't see the 1988 one yet. So, yeah, but, uh, <clears throat> anyway, I'm in the year 2001, it ended, you know, like, right as daybreak was going on, as, uh, you know, they would see the civilization burning, and as the 1990 novel would, uh, <clears throat> shows that, um, goes all the way from, through the night, all the way to the next day, and several, in a couple weeks afterwards, wherein, we see civilization has collapsed and how, uh, you know, the whole thing is civilization is splintered into a bunch of smaller groups, each vying for control. The main uh, ones would be the, uh, it was called the Fire Patrol and the Stone, something, the Apostles of the Flame being like the two big ones that, you know, seem to have arisen. And, um, yeah, I, I don't really know what to say other than it's an interesting story. And, uh, yeah, although I haven't, although the 2000 movie was okay, it was a little flawed, you know. Mainly, is like the two main leads for some reason, like they decide to give the male lead a super uh, mutant powers to, like, make, um, you know, uh, like illusions or whatever, and the female lead, they decide to give a solar-powered ray gun, which, both of which things that nobody else has, uh, and, uh, but back to the, back to the stories of, you know, it really does, um, <clears throat> even though I s essentially just spoil the ending to both short story and novel adaptation, you know, I st still think that you'd probably get enough out of it, because, like, there's all this stuff about like the tension of expecting of what to expect, you know, um, how many stars do you think there are going to be? Because most of them thought there would only be like maybe a dozen at most, or whatever. And um, <clears throat> and you know just the whole freak out and uh, about seeing all those thousands of stars in the night sky, and uh, yeah. <clears throat> And, of course, the whole tension between science and religion, and, uh, yeah. What can I say other about, uh, both? I mean, I guess you could see there's a bit of a flaw in the whole setup, because, you know, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson, when he was asked about, like, multi-sun star systems, where, like, they're pretty much impossible because of all the gravity and stuff, like, so it would only work if the stars were, like, close together so the gravity is like one so but that's really 
more of like a nitpicky thing. We're just talking about the overall story. You know, it's just a what if thing to think about, mull over. Yeah, I get the idea. <clears throat> anyway, um, overall, I personally give this, give the uh, both short story and novel my personal comfort level recommendation rating of a four out of five. Recommended. They're good stories, you know. They're, uh, you know, just an interesting little read to pass the time. You know, I probably all uh, underestimating how important or whatever, because like these things have like a pretty big legacy of the, considering how long they've, how long they've been around and, uh, you know, the different, like I said, adaptations, whatever, but. You know, I just, I just liked it, you know. And if you uh, come across the either the short story compilation with Nightfall on it or the uh, Nightfall book, check them out. I think you might like it. <clears throat> you know, especially the book, you know. Anyway, um, next time we're going to be going into a galaxy far, far away. Yeah. Anyway, um, until uh, next time, see you later. Keep yourself awesome by going to your local bookstores, libraries, whatever, supporting them with your patronage money, and, uh, whatever, and have a good day. <laughs>